this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own reusable makeup remover pads. For this project you're going to need some cardboard to create your template, something to draw a circle with, so a pair of compasses, a plate to draw around or one of these, a pencil for drawing the template, an air erasable pen for marking onto your fabric, the fabric of course, I've got some scraps of double gauze and some scraps of toweling. You'll also need some paper scissors to cut out the template, fabric scissors for cutting out fabric and then either pins or some fabric glue to hold the two layers together. And then to edge finish I'm going to use my overlocker. To begin with I'm going to create my circle template. This is going to be 12 centimetres in diameter or approximately 5 inches. Once you've got your template, take your fabric marker and your fabric and just cut out as many as you would like. and then repeat with the toweling. Take a piece of toweling and a piece of double gauze and then grab your pins or grab your fabric glue. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of fabric glue all the way around the outside and then a little bit in the middle and then put the two layers together and now I'm going to overlock all the way around to secure the two layers and also edge finish. Before I start to overlock the edges I'm going to just check my settings. I've got all of my tension discs set to three and that will give me a nice balanced stitch I've got my stitch length set to 2.5 and that will give me a short stitch length so I'll have better coverage around the outside of the circles and I've also turned up my differential feed to 1.3. You may need to go a little higher, do a bit of experimenting but this will stop the edges of the circles from being wavy. Raise the needles and then lift up the presser foot and position your round so that the fabric is underneath the presser foot and the inside edge is butted up to the blade and the needles are going to go directly into the fabric and then begin to sew. As you stitch just manipulate the fabric and keep turning it so that the blade will trim and even out the edges. When you get back to the beginning, keep going so that you cut off the starting thread chain and then just sew a few more stitches so that they overlap the starting point. At this stage, try not to cut through the stitching that you've already done. Once you've overlapped the stitching a little way, lift up the presser foot and then just chain off. and then put the presser foot back down again and then run off a longer chain. So you'll see I've got a little bit of a wavy edge here, but I think if I press this, that should flatten it out. You could try again and use a higher differential feed and see if that helps to alleviate all the waviness. The last thing to do is to fasten off the thread chain. So I'm going to take a large eyed needle 
or a bodkin. Put the thread chain into the eye of the needle and then from the underside take the thread between the two layers of fabric and then just work your way through a little way and then come out a bit further along. Pull on the threads so that they're a little bit tight and then cut the end and then pull the fabric back out again so that the end of the thread is now inside the round. And you can just make as many of these as you need.